same pro 23. Yeah, having never assembled one of these guys, uh, tell you what, uh, for the extra money, it's well worth to get a 1050 over a 650. It does all the same with the stuff, plus some, and it takes five minutes to assemble as opposed to three days. Well, it wasn't that bad, but uh, 650 is definitely a bigger pain in the butt. I mean, it's really cool. Uh, Dylan, you know, will do factory spec, uh, set up all the dies for you as well, except for the powder die. Uh, all the sizing dies, everything are uh, all set up and good to go. The swager, they even send uh, three uh, cartridges, all good to go, uh, showing how they set it up and uh, what it was all about. That's cool. Um, they totally configure it for uh, 308. This carbide uh, tool head for 308. So get that moving. Nice. So yeah, the only thing I had to do was basically put these uh, bin mounts on the uh, you know, the uh, rod that holds the uh, feeder. This mount and the uh, powder check safety or the uh, powder safety I should say it's not the powder check uh, powder check die goes in there I'm gonna guess and let's see what else did I have to do I just have it mounted typically just uh, to this piece of plywood that's sitting here on top of the bench so I can do some measurements to decide where on the bench I can set it up yeah not sure yet. It's uh, actually got a smaller footprint and is shorter. I don't know if you can see the 650 in the background, but uh, it's shorter. And uh, the whole mounting area is actually less deep, meaning from the edge of the table back. It looks like it's only about 14 inches. I'm going to go out and guess where the 650, uh, that's way the hell back there if you look at the way the uh, that bullet feeder is. It sticks out probably 18, 19 inches. So, hmm. What to do, what to do? I don't know. We'll have to find out, won't we? Catch you in a bit. Actually, while I'm here uh, thinking about it, I just wanted to say thank you very much to all the individuals so far uh, who have responded to my uh, question in the previous video about uh, <clears throat> their. Uh, uh, ideas about what I should top this with. Seems like a pretty popular idea is uh, stainless steel. Um, <clears throat> I don't want to use stainless steel because uh, it dents and it scratches and it looks like crap when it does. Um, but other than that, it does have a very cool factor, I'll give you that. Very heavy metal. Uh, I think Let's see, uh, Mimbound uh, came up with a great idea using rubber matting, or maybe that was gravy. Uh, Mimbound had a good idea too, I can't remember specifically what it was, but I liked it. And then Mountain Man also had a very good idea uh, where he suggested whatever I do laminate it onto this, he suggested use an additional sheet of like quarter inch ply and laminate whatever I'm laminating to the quarter inch ply and then screw that uh, to the top of the surface from the bottom so when it gets all screwed up and ugly it's way easier to take off as opposed to uh, gluing it to the surface so I like that idea Mountain Man thank you sir um, I'm getting a whole bunch of feedback uh, stuff like for mica uh, linoleum some guy said use tile <laughs> not exactly the best idea for a uh, reloading surface um, but maybe linoleum I don't know I'm gonna go to Lowe's with a pile of your suggestions and see what they sell me but I just wanted to uh, say thank you very much everybody 
I'm going to uh, keep reading those comments to the very bitter end, and I will certainly give kudos to those who deserve it, as I have so far. So everybody, appreciate it. Uh, let's see how we progress forward. Right, so check it out. Um, it's super windy here again today. Uh, wasn't this morning, but uh, winds picked up, gusting at 50 miles an hour or so today. Makes for an exciting and very dirty pool. So anyway, cutting this uh, this uh, ply here, trimming it up. It's gonna go in the hole. It's gonna be the bottom shelf in here. See, I trimmed up the edges around here and up. So this is just going to basically, that piece of plywood is going to butt up to here and just go straight out. Uh, cover all that spot up. That'll be the bottom shelf. And then I'll hang another shelf about, uh, I don't know. You'll see when I'm done. I have no idea. I'm just winging it. Having fun. I like building stuff. So, uh, just got to uh, knock out some corners here just to uh, make room for the funkiness in the corners down there. And uh, yeah, moving right along. I'll show you what it looks like when I get the uh, first shelf down. So I've got a shelf at the bottom, as you can see. Flush with this right here. Uh, got some gaps in the corners. No biggie. It's only about a quarter inch all the way around. <laughs> a little homeboy over there. I don't know what's up with that, but yeah, he'll be lonely inside. So, uh, I'm pooped. I'm going to keep on. What time is it? Oh, look at there. It's Scotch 30. Looks like my sawing days are through for the evening. Um,. I think I can probably finish this tomorrow. I uh, still have to cut out two places. Well, I don't know. I have to figure that out. I need to have. Uh, well, I'm gonna have drawers. I'm gonna try to have drawers down to about here, and then it's gonna go recessed to here down and then right here is going to be where the uh, the door frame is going to be so i got to figure out how that's going to work out i'm thinking i'm going to have to notch you know out in this piece of wood so we're going to have a couple of two by or one buys coming up on two of them one over there one over there and uh, those will be the door frames for the centers and I'm just swinging it. So anyway, it's turning out really nice. Um, I'm happy. So, um, as for all the people that uh, gave me their 10 cents worth, I was pretty astonished. Everybody wanted to help me out. I'm getting flooded with comments. Can't tell you how much I appreciate everybody uh, helping out. Uh, I'll tell you what I ended up with. Or maybe I should surprise you. Yeah, I'll tell you. It's not that big a deal, really. I'm um, going with plexiglass on top of here. So I'm going to sand this guy down, paint it white. So I'm going to fill these holes. Or, I don't know, let's take a poll. I'll post this video after I'm done with this. I might paint tonight. I uh, did a bunch of spackling and cleaned up these walls. Actually, there's no reason to paint now. That'll be like the last thing I do. So anyway, um, yeah, pole. Take pole. Uh, should I paint it white? Or should I leave it wood? Uh, like I said, plexiglass is going on top of this to protect the pretty wood. So uh, I'll probably hit it with a uh, jitterbug sander and smooth it up. Take all the uh, pencil marks and little mars out of it. And... Uh, throw that piece of plexiglass on and then I have uh, this stuff this is pretty cool molding I'm gonna put this over the top edge around the edge of the plexiglass so that'll be sweet kind of a hollowed out frame thing so that'll be around the edges that's pretty sweet that'll be cool I'll have the plexiglass underneath 
and the Dillons on top of that. I'm having fun. Thanks for participating in my hell. <laughs> All right, YouTube. This is going to be part two. I'm going to cut it and uh, let me know what you think. To paint the wood or not to paint the wood? That is the question. Let me know. Take care.